In this code, we have a class called unique resource that holds an ID and defines both a copy constructor and a copy assignment operator. In test unique resource, we create resource one and then assign it to resource two and resource three. Go ahead and think about what'll happen when we run this code and I'll explain the result in a moment. Okay. When you run this, you'll see copy constructor called when resource two is created and copy assignment called when resource three is assigned. That's because in the first case, resource two is equal to resource one invokes the copy constructor during, initial, during initialization. While in the second case, resource three is equal to resource one calls the copy assignment operator on an already existing object. But here's the problem I have. If unique resource is meant to re represent something unique like a file handle or a network socket, allowing copies is dangerous because two objects can now manage the same resource. This is similar to how unique pointer works. And if we want that same functionality, we have to delete the copy constructor and the copy assignment operator. And we can do that using by doing this. And what you'll see is that now this item will not even compile anymore. We have an error for both here and here, right? So now any attempt to copy the resource will result in a compiler error enforcing unique ownership at compile time. 